diplodic life cycle is followed in the case of angiosperm and the gymnosperm diplodic means the main plant body is diploid two sets of chromosomes are found in the plant body and so it is called as a diplodic life cycle in diplodic life cycle male gametes obviously gametes are haploid and female gametes when undergo syngamy or fertilization zygote form and zygote is always diploid having two sets of chromosomes this zygote is considered as the first cell of sporophytic plant body and this zygote undergo mitosis and get transformed into multicellular plant body and which is called sporophyte plant body and this plant body is diploid in the case of gymnosperm and angiosperm the sporophytic plant body is the main plant body it has ability of photosynthesis it is long lived and having all plant organs like root stem and leaves whenever we look at the plant it has its leaves stem and different organs it is in its sporophytic stage this sporophytic plant body as i told it is a main plant body as it is independent photosynthetic and diploid so this life cycle is the diplontic life cycle this sporophytic plant body later on produce cone or the flower cone is a kind of flower we use this word in the case of gymnosperm flower we use the word in the case of angiosperm this cone or the flower produce the spores the spores are of two kinds it is male spore or microspore and female spore or called as an megaspore remember microspore itself is a kind of pollen grain and megaspore its itself is a kind of ovule in megaspore or ovule the cellular structure form called as a female gametophyte which is haploid and within the microspore male gametophyte forms and again obviously it is a haploid remember that in the case of gymnosperm and angiosperm the gametophytic plant body are cellular we cannot even observe the gametophytic plant body in the case of higher plants and that's why we always say that higher the plant the smaller is the gametophytic stage if we compare in the case of thallophyta like algae the gametophytic plant body is the main which carry out photosynthesis which we observe but in the case of higher plants when we observe the plant they are in the sporophytic stage gametophytic phase we cannot even observe this gametophytic phase or gametophytic plant body produce male gamete and the female gametophyte produce the female gamete and this way the entire life cycle is carried out in this life cycle the gamete producing gametophyte stage is only for the small duration and this phase is the gametophytic phase and entire this phase start from the zygote to the formation of the spore it is a sporophytic stage so this is called diplontic life cycle as the main plant body is the diploid having two sets of chromosomes